Hi everyone, my name is Mike Morris and I'm helping Bart and Dee Mitchell program some of the experimental film and video programs this year at the Dallas Video Fest. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, the programs that we have coming up and what you can expect in the schedule this year. One of the first things I want to tell you about is a uh, solo screening by a visiting artist who will also be uh, running a workshop uh, at the Video Festival this year. Her name's Carrie Laitala. And her work is a kind of combination between handmade celluloid film and an experimental 3D digital video uh, approach called uh, chroma depth. The work she's been doing with the chroma depth technique is a very visceral and phenomenological kind of experience, and uh, there will be a 30-minute program of those works, which you should definitely not miss. And the workshop she'll be teaching will be uh, featuring several different handmade techniques in the darkroom with 16 millimeter film working with a kind of photogram technique with moving picture film. And Carrie's Chroma Depth Works will be playing in a screening around 7.30 on Saturday the 24th of September. And that morning uh, her workshop will be held at SMU at around 10 a.m. So be sure to check the website and uh, find out how to sign up for the workshop. At 2.30 on Saturday, there's going to be a program that's predominantly uh, different experiments in animation. And this program is called Fables and K-Holes. And it features uh, pieces by Steve Ranke and Jennifer Reeder. Um, and in particular, it features uh, an experimental animation called Doing Good But Behaving Badly by Boogie Bodunrin. And this is a really interesting piece in how it's accomplished. Um, it's a sort of retelling of Aesop's fables through a combination of After Effects animation and hand manipulated celluloid that's then re photographed with a 7D built into a JK optical printer. So it's a really cool process and a really uh, interesting piece. Another piece in the Fables and K Holes program is a piece by duo Duke and Battersby called Beauty Plus Pity, which uh, is made up of several different episodes, some of which are animated and some of which are appropriated images. Uh, and it's a kind of meditation on morality via children, God, and talking spirit animals. And it has its humorous moments and its light moments, but it's also a really provocative and moving piece. Uh, 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 um, at 4.30 on Saturday, the 24th, there's going to be a shorts program called You've Got to Look into the Light. And this program is a grouping of works uh, loosely grouped around the effects and interventions into television, media, and pop culture, and thinking about how these things affect us. Uh, it features pieces by uh, Lori Felker, a piece called This Is My Show, which is a kind of deconstructive um, nature talk show. A piece by Jesse McLean called Magic for Beginners that's a very complex piece uh, that um, questions how we experience emotions in a media-saturated environment. And also in the program is a piece by Brian Konevsky called Fertile Ground Corporate Slug that's a portrait of uh, media theorist Gene Youngblood. Um, and it features a death metal rendition of a Pete Seeger song, so make sure you see that. On Saturday night, just before Carrie Laitalo's um, Chroma Depth program, is a short uh, film by Tom Cahill called Jeffrey Bean 30. And if you're familiar with uh, Tom Cahill, you'll know that he did a piece uh, several years ago called Swoon that was sort of a prominent piece in the new queer cinema movement of the 90s. Um, and this piece is sort of a tribute to silent cinema and uh, looks to be a really interesting and uh, complex uh, short. Um, so definitely be sure to check that out and then stick around for Carrie Laitalo's screening uh, just after that at 7.30. At noon on Sunday the 25th there will be a program called Over There is Over Here which has tons of really great experimental work packed into it by artists like Ed Rankis, 
Lynn Sachs and Mark Street, and Dougie Shar and Tom Dawes, as well as many others. There are several other pieces I would like to share with you and have tried, but for whatever reason, um, Photo Booth continues to stop working in the middle of it, so I'm going to just call it a night because it's pretty late now, and uh, say thanks and I hope you come to the festival and I hope you enjoy all of the experimental work. Um, it's been a real privilege for me to help out with programming the festival, and I want to say thanks to Bart and Raquel and D and JP and everyone else who uh, has allowed me to do this. So uh, thank you very much, and I hope you come and enjoy the films.